Hey everyone, so you've learned to make a simple model that's sort of gray and black and white and now you want to be able to actually produce an image or a video out of it. Well the first thing you have to learn about is just some basic use of the camera and how to render your model. So let's give this a go in this video. You'll see here I've got this model that I've made. I don't know what it is. It's uh, just something, maybe the front of a boat with a weird hole in it, right? We're going to use this as our sample. And by default, of course, your world has a camera that's already been placed in it. And this camera, by default, aims at the center of the world. So it should be looking at the boat. Now, one of the first things you have to learn is, well, how do I see what the camera is seeing? The easiest way is to hit zero on the numpad. So when I hit zero, repeatedly, it toggles between those two views. Now, if you don't have a zero on the numpad that does that for you, you can always go down to view camera and that'll just do the exact same thing right there's the numpad zero okay so that's the first thing now why is it important to know what the camera's looking at because whatever the camera's looking at is what you're going to get when you render your model out rendering is when the program sort of draws your model in good quality so you can save pictures videos or animation so let's see how we take a little picture of our model you'll see this window i just expanded a little bit here Okay, has this toolbar here, and you'll see the icon of the camera. You should be on it. If not, click on the camera. And we're not going to change any of the settings, and we're just going to hit this button called Render. And when it renders, poof, pretty quickly it draws this model out because it's a very simple, fast model. And that's what the camera is seeing, and this is what it would look like according to our settings if you were to like make an animated movie. There's your model right there. Now, if you want to save this, all you have to do is you just have to hit F3 on the keyboard. And when you hit F3, you're going to get a place to save it right there, and you can name it. So I'm going to call mine Half Boat and just save the image. And that should be saved. Now, when you get back from saving, you're still in the render window. You can just left click once in the render window and then hit Escape on the keyboard and that gets you back to your normal view. If we want to go take a look at our model or our picture, there it is. And there's the picture just generated. Of course, we're going to make this look a lot better. Colors, reflections, lights, shadows, you know, over the next couple videos. Okay, let's get back to the camera in here. Now, let's say you're not happy with that angle, right? You don't want the back of the boat. You want a picture of the front of the boat. One thing you might do is you might decide to take the camera and move it. So the camera is just like any other object. You can do the move. You can do the scale. You can do the rotate. Let's just grab the handle here and move it. I'm going to move it over here. Now if I just do a little top view, you can see where the camera is looking. It's not really looking at the boat. Now if I do a rotate, I could go rotate around the Z. So I hit RZ. And I could start to rotate the camera. And you know, it starts becoming a bit of guesswork. I'll hit that zero on the numpad to see what it's looking like. Oh, what a mess. I move it there. Move it down. You can do this, and this can be tedious, even though it will work. But I'm going to show you a much easier way okay, to get this working. Let's put the camera back where it was and watch this little trick. You don't want to fiddle around with moving and rotating the camera too much as a beginner, right? We just want simple different angles. So here's what we do. We're going to do something called tracking the camera to the object. So it always faces your object. And here's how you do it. You right click on your camera so it's selected. You hold the shift key down and right click on the object. Right click. And then from the menu here, we can go object track and track to constraint what this does it basically the boat is considered the constraint it tracks the camera to the second object we selected and once we do it you'll see there's a very faint dotted line now pointing from the camera to the boat and if you now right click the camera to get it alone you now move the camera and you're going to notice what the camera is doing the camera is always looking at the boat. 
And so this is really easy for a beginner if you leave your camera tracked to an object while you're working with it. Okay, only if you want. Now if you don't want to, you can always take the tracking off. You can always go object, track, clear the track. Okay, if you wanted to do that. And so that's nice. I'll just show you now when we go render. I don't even really have to check with the zero on the numpad. You know what it looks like? I can just go render. I know it's aiming at it. And there's our model. Hit escape. And we're out. So that's a nice little video on rendering, the tracking of the camera to the object. And I guess there's just one last little thing I'll show you here. Down this long list in the camera icon option here, the render options, way down here, it says what type of file you want to make when you're rendering. So that's why mine was a ping file. If you want, you could select JPEG. And now when you go to save it, so let's say I go for a render, I hit F3 on the keyboard to save, and I can go maybe boat 2, and now this one's a JPEG, save. Let's go to the desktop to check it out, and there it is. Whoa, I'm just going to drag it out there, and there's my rendered model. There's a part of the boat missing because I messed up when I was editing. Anyways, there you go. That's sort of the basics. In the next video, we're going to start talking about colors. Uh, then we're going to start talking about reflection and lights and shadows, right? We're going to build, uh, hopefully, your snowman model scene or whatever model you've made so far. We're going to build it up to make it look good now that you know how to render it. Let's get it rendering good.